The following interview was conducted with Joel Kern for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on November 4th, 2017 at Boilermaker Station in Purdue Memorial Union. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. So to get us started, Joel, could you tell me where you're from, when you attended Purdue, what you studied? I'm from Van Wert, Ohio, uh, which is a little town outside of Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I uh, graduated in uh, 1990, and I was a uh, public relations <coughs> major in the School of uh, Liberal Arts. Okay, and is that the field you went into professionally after graduating? Yeah, and to some degree it was. I always wanted to be in uh, advertising and, and marketing, and um, and I'm I ended up being the publisher of a magazine. So mm -hmm. yeah, I kind of stayed in that same field. I'm still in publishing now. Fantastic. And where do you live now? I live in Newtown, Pennsylvania, which is a suburb of uh, Philadelphia. And what brings you back to campus this weekend? <clears throat> well, my 18-year-old uh, daughter is uh, here for freshman year. She's going to Purdue now, so she, uh, uh, so it's family weekend, so mm -hmm. we had to come back and see her. I hadn't been back to campus since we dropped her off in July, so mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. Got to come back and see her. <laughs> it's exciting to have a family tradition like that going to the same school. <clears throat> Very much so. I, I never thought in a million years she'd go there. There's so many schools out by Philadelphia where we live and much, much closer. And when she came out here, she, I don't know, she came out with my wife who I said, I can't take you to Purdue because I'm too biased. Like I would want you to go here and I'd go <laughs> run around and see everything that's going on on campus and not take you to this, the tours. And so my wife went and uh, they both loved it when they got here. Mm -hmm. so. Great. Mm -hmm. What is she studying? She is studying nutrition, health, and fitness. Mm -hmm. So she's in a completely different area than I'm in. <clears throat> what uh, were the particular places? Once you knew she was coming here, did you try to guide her toward you know, certain places in town, certain places on campus? Any? Well, a lot has changed since uh -huh. I went here. Even, uh, you know, <clears throat> I say even, but it was 30 years ago, so it was a long time ago. <laughs> But, um, y you know, there was, uh, uh, the, I, it sounds really weird maybe, but the co-rec was always, you know, a big deal. So I wonder, and she's in that kind of field, so I want to make sure she got to see the co-rec. Listen, I, you know, she's not old enough, but I always spent a lot of time at Harry's when I was here mm -hmm. as well. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to make sure that she got to the basketball games and the, um, <clears throat> and the football games and all She's a volleyball player, so I want to make sure that she, you know, got to see the, you know, the volleyball team play. She followed it all the way through high school. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Yeah. So did you attend a lot of the sporting events while you were a student here? I did. I did. Probably just football and basketball. We were really good in basketball. We weren't very good in football when I was here, but we were very, very good in basketball. So mm -hmm. yeah, definitely the uh, as many as I could. Mm -hmm. so. Great. Uh, were you involved in any clubs or organizations as a student? I was in a fraternity. Mm -hmm. I was in a fraternity called Kappa Alpha, which unfortunately I don't believe is on campus anymore. Mm -hmm. So um, so the, I, I did a lot of my, uh, you know, I was a philanthropy chairman for them, so I did a lot of uh, the fundraising events and things like that for mm -hmm. them. So most of, my, most of my activities were through the, uh, through the fraternity. Mm -hmm. And did you have a job as a student? I did. I worked at a. Uh, I worked at Twenty First Amendment Liquor Store, actually, <laughs> which I don't think is here either anymore. It used to be right over, right over, uh, right over behind the parking garage here. But uh, yeah, I worked there for, I think, three years that I was here. Mm -hmm. So it gets you through. <laughs> um, did you ever live in any dorms on campus? I did. Everything I did is not here anymore. I lived in, I lived <laughs> in Terry Courts, which was like, you know, I lived 1265 Terry Courts. And I mean, it was, I, when I moved in, I thought, this, what are we doing here? This looks like the worst place in the world. But it turned out to be fantastic. It was a great place to live. I made some of my best friends, of fr people who I'm still friends with, the guys who were in my wedding, mm -hmm. I met at Terry Courts. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I moved, I didn't stay there. I didn't love it that much. I moved to uh, Wiley. So I lived in Wiley uh, for a year after that, and uh, then I moved off campus. Okay. Yeah. Were there any particular places you would go on campus to study, to, to get away? It, I, I think it was called the Stacks. It was, it was in the undergrad library, 
And I was just telling my daughter about it yesterday. It was like there was the undergrad library, which was kind of, at the time, big and kind of, you know, modern and all that kind of stuff. And then where all the, like, old books were, I don't even know if it's still there or not. But where all the old books were, there was the thing, we called them the stacks. And, and there was these little cubby holes in the stacks that were just like, it looked like prison. But it was super, you know, it was super dark, but then there was this one light, mm -hmm. and it was the best place on earth to study. I like to go there to study, just because it was quiet, and nobody knew you were in there, and you couldn't be bothered, and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So, that's where I went. That's good. So, yeah. Um, are there any specific events or moments that stand out to you when you think back to that time? Oh, man. I mean, it's probably just the regular stuff. It was like homecoming and Grand Prix. Grand Prix was always... You know, a lot of fun. It was just a nice week of, of you know, parties and everybody coming in from uh, from out of town. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, those were kind of probably the biggest the biggest things I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think has changed the most <clears throat> about Purdue? Well, we're sitting here on a football weekend. And so I, I got to tell you, the thing that's changed the most is the whole tailgating atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Like there just wasn't tailgating when I was here. Oh. And it, it, it sounds, you know, there was, at least I didn't know about it if there was. I mean, it was just, <laughs> it was just breakfast club. You went up to the, to the bars in town before the game and then you went to the game. And so to see all these places, you know, all the, 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 uh, the, campers. the campers and the, you know, the buses and all that <laughs> kind of stuff show up for the game, I think that's changed Mm -hmm. A great deal. I think the emphasis on on uh, the sporting facilities and the, and the sports is different than it was back then. I think there's a lot more emphasis put on it now. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, the campus to me, though, is a lot more, this sounds kind of corny, but it's a lot more beautiful than it was when I was here. Like, it was very, uh, it felt like it was very much a, they called it a walking campus, and I think that was a nice way of putting it, that there wasn't a lot of green space, and there wasn't a lot of trees. Like, mm -hmm. it just was very kind of industrial almost. Mm -hmm. And now we walked around last night, and it's beautiful. The trees and the, you know, it's just a gorgeous place. It's a lot prettier than it was when I was here. Yeah, I, th I think they've been making an effort. It yeah. seems like it, yeah. Definitely got rid of a lot of the parking lots yeah. over the last couple decades. Yeah, there was a lot of parking lots. Uh-huh. What is the same about Purdue? Well, and again, this sounds kind of corny, but there was always a good school spirit, and there still is that. It's just fun to come back and see everybody kind of, uh, you know, wearing the colors and all that kind of stuff, which is which is awesome. Uh, some of the buildings are still the same. My daughter has classes in a lot of the same classes that I had. Classes. <laughs> a lot of classes. Uh, so I think that's actually kind of neat, you know, that Lily's the big lecture hall in Lily. She still has bio in there and, you know, the same place I had it. And I kind of like the fact that, like, there's still COM 114, which, like, I took and everybody took that they had to take and everybody still has to take it. Um, so I think, I mean, I, you know, I don't, the union kind of looks the same. You know, the downstairs looks a little bit different, but... It still has the same feel for it that mm -hmm. I it had when I was mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. so. That's great. Yeah. Now you have left the area. You're you're further away, so maybe you don't have as many people around you who know about Purdue and, and what Purdue is known for. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you wish Purdue got more attention for? Hmm. I'll tell you. Um, I, I think I think it's um, I think it's reputation. I've always said this, the farther, like I grew up in Ohio and went to school in Indiana and then I moved to the East Coast. And when I got to the East Coast, the reputation of Purdue was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. People didn't know what it was, honestly. Maybe that's a good thing, actually. They didn't know that it was a big state school in Indiana. They thought it was a private college or was it Ivy League or what the situation was with it. So when I got to, out there, it was like they were super impressed with the whole, you know, that you went to Purdue. So... I don't know. I think it gets good attention for, you know, all its programs and all that kind of stuff right now. So it's okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, do you have any other last thoughts, comments, memories you'd like to share? No, I just, I'm, I'm very thankful for my years at Purdue, and it's been the, probably the best thing I ever did. I didn't intend on coming to Purdue when I was younger. I had no intention of coming here I I got accepted and just figured it was the best school I got accepted to and I should go here and it was it was absolutely the greatest decision I ever made in my life because it's gotten me uh, 
it's gotten me everything I've got in my life, really, right now. It's really given, given me my career, and, and you know, so no, I, I, it's, it's, I'm always thrilled to come back because I love this place. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's good.